There are millions of us are looking for new ways to get healthy and feel better. Dr. Travis Stork, host of The Doctors, is out with a new book that might help. It's called The Lose Your Belly Diet, Change Your Gut, Change Your Life. Hi, Travis. So nice to Good see morning. you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. I appreciate well, it. Well, you know, I said yesterday to Dr. Oz that I have... I'm getting a little excess weight in my belly as I age, so you're just what the doctor ordered, so <laughs> thank you very be. much. So this is really a new area of medical research about good bacteria, inflammation. Can you kind of explain it to us? It's so new. We did not know about this when I went to medical school, and so interestingly, gut bacteria, a lot of people are going to hear more and more about this over the next five to ten years. Our gut bacteria weigh up to six pounds in our gut hundred trillion cells, but they don't just hang out. They are very important. Interestingly, lean people have 70% more gut bacteria and more diverse gut bacteria. So I wrote this book to highlight ways in which we can eat to really change the makeup of our gut bacteria because everything from inflammation in the body, people with more gut bacteria may have lower rates of autoimmune illness. But when you say it's, gut bacteria, you're talking about good bacteria, right? Because yes. if people think of bacteria and they think, ew, gross, right? And, and to some extent, we doctors are at fault. We've taught everyone bacteria bad. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's not the case. Most bacteria are really good for us, and it's really important that we nurture them. And so I'm really flipping the script on this. In the past, it was kill bacteria, kill bacteria, and that may be part of the reason why we're in, in the trouble we are with obesity being at the highest rate we've ever known. And so really teaching people how to eat in a way to increase your gut bacteria, but also help you lose weight and, and be healthier. What's the interaction between gut bacteria and inflammation, right? Because they think inflammation is behind so many different diseases, right? Is it because exactly. bad bac bacteria makes your immune system almost overreact and cause inflammation that then causes disease? Well, and think about it this way. If you're not exposed to a lot of these good gut bacteria, what happens is your immune system can be like a bored teenager. Uh huh. Constantly attacking things that it shouldn't, increasing inflammation in the body. And so we don't fully understand how it all works yet. And that's what's interesting. Every single day a new article comes out about this, and I spent all summer reading about it. But the one thing we do know is that these bacteria, if we nurture them, they seem to tamp down inflammation in this complex physiologic cascade that I won't bore people with those details. Uh, yeah. They excite me, but it, what matters to lay people is we can, starting with our next meal, we can start changing the makeup of our microbiome and also increase our chances of, of being at a, a healthier weight and, and reducing the risk of inflammation. Okay, well, let's go through it because you have five gu gui guidelines. You know, this is not probiotics, right? This is eating food that will increase that good bacteria in your, in your belly, right? Absolutely. So in the book, I talk about five gut guidelines. And the first is to eat probiotics every day. And I'm not talking about supplements. I talk about supplements and who they may be good for in the book. But we're talking about things like yogurt, kefir, fermented sauerkraut, all these foods that I used to not kimchi, eat. Kimchi, isn't that one Kimchi too? is another fermented food. Those probiotics, what they do is they add good gut bacteria in there, and so it adds to that mix. It's something called prebiotics. I've so, never heard of that. Well, in prebiotics, a lot of people don't think about this, but these are foods that feed those bacteria. So probiotics add bacteria, prebiotics feed them. High fiber foods, simple switch in the book I talk about, raspberries, have eight grams of fiber per cup, as opposed to strawberries, which have three grams. So up your intake of those high fiber fruits, vegetables, whole grains, all those things matter. You say pick a mix of proteins, right? And why are proteins important? Well, in, in America, we tend to think of protein as only coming from meat. But I talk in the book about, interestingly, plant proteins, nuts, and seeds. If you add those, throw them in your salads, throw them into more meals, those proteins also have great fiber and other nutrients. Okay, you also say great grains are really important, right? Don't give up on grains. A lot of people, look, there are so many grains that people don't know about. Try new ones, barley, bulgur. It's not just whole wheat when we talk about great grains. And the great thing about grains is they're loaded with fiber. Again, great food for our gut. And another one is embrace friendly fats. It's interesting, the, the philosophy has really changed about fats, hasn't it? Because it keeps you more sated and you really shouldn't avoid them entirely, right, Travis? Another thing that we did as doctors is about two, three decades ago, we scared people off. We told people, look, don't eat fat. But the truth is fat doesn't make you fat. 
healthy fats can be really good for your health. And so by adding all those foods together, you can truly create wonderful, tasty meals. And in the book, I have a lot of great recipes that combine all these nutrients. And real quickly, we only have like 15 seconds. Okay. Just tell us what you should focus on. You mentioned raspberries instead of strawberries. There are a lot of whole grains have here. Have fun with grains. Have fun with your salad. And, and go with these nice, deep greens. And the one thing I will say is, try as best you can. Stay away from things like the croutons. Instead, go with nuts and seeds. Make, make it crunchy with something that's good for your health. All right, great. Good to see you. You're a tall drink of water, Travis. <laughs> anyway, the book is, what is it called again? The Lose it's Your called... Belly Diet, Change Your Gut, Change Your Life. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.